is kind of becoming a familiar formula for the guy. A lot of these games that you've lost, you guys got off to a hot start and you weren't able to sustain it. It's kind of becoming a familiar. I don't want to say anything negative, so yes. This answer, yes. I could, I, I could tell you why, but I'm not going to tell you why. Yes, you're right. What did you think of Shira's performance in the first half? She seemed to play great. Yeah. Look like her knee was a lot better. She got to rest three days, so that really helped her. So we go we go to Baylor, leave tomorrow, play Monday. Have you ever had a team that's lost more conference games at home than they've won? No. And how do you explain three and six at home? I'm going to be positive. I can't. Coach, what do you think of the way Tiana played in the fourth quarter, try to battle the team back into it? Has a lot of heart. Plays hard. A lot of heart. Not everybody has heart. She has heart. Shania has heart. Katrina plays hard. Like late in the first half, Jensen gets her second foul, but they go on a run. You really weren't able to take advantage of that. How big was that stretch late in the half? It's real big. I had a lot of people sitting on the bench. Foul trouble. You go from 15 up to up five. Then the people that got a rest that was in foul trouble come out and don't play hard in the third quarter. Can't explain it. Can't explain it. How do you put it back together again for the uh, tournament? I'm going to be honest with you, Bob. I'm going to start playing other people. I'm not going to play upperclassmen don't play hard. I'm going to start playing other people. I know what we got to do. We're not going to do it right now. When I... When you need a game to go to the NCAA and I gotta beg people during timeouts and beg people to play hard, we got a problem. Got a problem. <laughs>